All right. Uh, well, hi. Uh, my name is Victor, and I'm the product manager for the Radeon R9 295X2. Uh, we're here at AMD's second uh, extravaganza, hashtag AMD extravaganza, for those of you who want to follow us on Twitter. Um, I'm here today with uh, Hardware Canucks to talk to you a little bit about our product, the R9 295X2. It is the fastest graphics card in the market right now, undisputed. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why we did some of the things we did with this product. For some of you that have been asking a lot of questions, you know, why did we go water cooling? Why did we just go completely uh, all out with this card? Um, and I just wanted to step through some of the uh, features of the card and explain a little bit about why we did what we did with it. Um, so here we have the uh, case that we've sent out to press. Uh, I actually have a few of the uh, 290X2 uh, ASICs here. Uh, we brought a few loose ASICs just so that you can see uh, what the chip looks like uh, underneath the hood. Uh, I also have a few cards here. Uh, we've deconstructed them for you so you can actually see the mechanics of what's going on inside. Um, here you have the full complete unit. And uh, we have the Asa Tech pumps here. One of them is opened up, so you can actually see the impeller inside and where everything hooks up. We have a uh, bare bones PCB here with the ASICs actually removed. So you can see all the different uh, components, the regulator, the PLX bridge, the display connectors. Um, over here, you can get a close up of the actual uh, 295 ASICs and the back. So this is uh, where all the magic happens. It's quite amazing that uh, you have uh, all that performance out of uh, these two little pieces of silicone. Yeah. So that is quite an amazing accomplishment. Um, and here we have the back side of uh, the integrated cooling solution. Uh, if you were curious to see what the uh, pumps look like without having to dismantle your card. Some questions that we've been asked uh, from people on the forums is, you know, why did you go with a closed loop liquid cooling solution? Um, and one of the main reasons was, um, you know, you're here at Extravalanza, you're going to go through and look at all the cases. Almost every single person here has a uh, open loop liquid cooling solution. Um, and then you have other people with just your little like compact PC or HP or, you know, Lenovo box. Um, and we kind of wanted to bring the, uh, the people that were apprehensive about doing a full liquid cooled setup up to the performance and the ability of everybody else who, you know, kind of has the time to bend tubes and uh, fill their own radiator. Um, so like this, right out of the box, uh, you get the performance of a full liquid cooling solution. Um, the other advantage of this is that you don't have to mess around with, uh, you know, fungicide, algicide, uh, mixing coolants. Um, and one of the questions that I keep getting asked is, well, how come you didn't put like quick connects uh, or allow people to plug this into their own system? Uh, one of the main reasons for that is we use propylene glycol in our cooling loop. Um, it's the same fluid that you find in most uh, automobile radiators uh, and that way it lasts for virtually forever because it's an alcohol-based fluid. Um, if we were to have opened up the loop and allowed you to hook this into your, uh, your own cooling loop, um, there, we couldn't guarantee from factory, um, you know, if you're using just a pure water setup with a fungicide, um, if you're using ethylene glycol. For those of you who are in the automotive field, um, I don't know if you know this, but you know you mix coolants, they're all color-coded so that you don't put the wrong coolant in because when you put one coolant with another and they're incompatible, bad things happen, you sludge up your radiator and whatnot. Um, so you know, we didn't want end users to have a bad experience and the performance is still very, very good uh, from factory. Uh, a lot of people were kind of surprised when uh, we were managed to put you know, 500 watts of power uh, into a single radiator. So we have pretty good engineers here at AMD and they were able to do uh, some pretty amazing things with this card. Um, as far as uh, aftermarket coolers, for people that want to go the step beyond, um, I have a couple of samples here from Aqua Computer. These guys are really big in uh, Europe. Um, we have here the, uh, the nickel-plated version and the copper version. Um, there's also blocks in the market available by EK Water Blocks, uh, Swift Tech, and Coolants. Uh, I hope you uh, guys enjoyed listening to uh, our product, uh, the 295X2. Uh, and there's a ton of people with some amazing case mods in the LAN area. So I hope you guys stick around and uh, check them out. Thank you.